All right, we are back. More Horizon Forbidden West. I just realized this game has like so many returning characters from the first game. I was kind of making the thumbnails and I was like, man, there's like a lot of characters that they brought back from Zero Dawn. So uh, you guys are awesome. All the love and support, all the likes, greatly appreciated. If you want more of this game quickly, just keep it up. I love you all. Let's get it. All right, just kind of begins. We're on the uh, mission, the embassy. Go to Baron Light. You have the optional thing too. Let me double check everything. Everything should be. I haven't played in like a day. I was trying to. I, I spent a lot of time getting that first video uploaded. I uploaded it and it took like almost three days to get to like 4K and all that. It, it was crazy. So I almost didn't make it, you know? Um, are we have any more skill points for level five. One thing I was going to show you guys, I did learn this. Uh, you can buy some outfits from this guy or you can go over here. Hold on. Let me see what he has really quick. Explorer. Okay. It's a warrior class. We got the infiltrator. Okay. I, I guess not really class, but it's more of a, a type of thing. You can create... Oh, what does create job do? Oh, never mind. Something else. Come back and I'll show you my wares once again. I was going to come over here. I wanted to show you guys really quick. So, I was wondering how you use... Let me show you right now. The weaves. Right now, I don't have any unlocked. Well, it doesn't cost much. It's 50 metal shards and then one of the sturdy hard plates, which I think you get from the enemies too. Uh, so I'm going to upgrade this. So it'll unlock one of those spots. Granted, this gear is going to be useless in about three hours if I had to guess. Um, so we don't have one slot unlocked yet. Hmm. Do I go for the full upgrade? The melee is going to be better. The impact's better. I mean, why not, right? As, as much as I loot, let's just go ahead and upgrade it again. I'm not going to go the full length, though. This is just temporary. I can't even do that. Fanghorn Antler. Okay. Um, all right, so now that should be that. And if I had to guess, we just now can go to our inventory. Edit weaves. Slot locked. Really? Is it... You have to get it fully upgraded for it to actually work? Oh, let me just double check that. Okay. It unlocks two. Okay. So, upgrade one and two. Increase melee impact, shock, acid, and I don't know if the skills went up at all. Uh, but the last one is what upgrades the slots. So, I can't use them yet. Um, I will go ahead and upgrade. That's just crafting. I don't really need to do that. Weapon upgrades? Let's see. Can I get this one upgraded more? Oh, I can. Nice. Yes, yeah, more damage, too. Go ahead and get there really quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the last one's the one that unlocks the slots. Okay. Sound shell. So we're going to be... It's like basically just taking out the larger enemies, if I had to guess. With special gear and all this. Hold on, let's see. Oh, it's just the other stuff. Continue to store to unlock that. All right, the pull cast is one of the four. Okay. All right, we're good. Like That's all we got. Uh, what I was going to do in this video, and just kind of moving forward for a little bit... It's kind of stick to the main stuff. We got the embassy. We got these other things that are kind of popping up too. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and go to this one. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me each day. Uh, I think we're, I'm getting stuck on everything. We're kind of on, I think it's on like part eight, if I had to guess. I'm still kind of editing the other ones, but I've had a lot of fun with this game. I, st I still think it's better than the first game already. And I think it's mostly because the environment and the combat's better. Um, they've also brought back a ton of characters. So it's, it's, I don't know, it's awesome. The way they did it is, I think, top notch. And it is also one of the best looking next gen titles I've actually seen. I can override one of these chargers. Oh, that's right. Go quiet so I don't spook the herd. Let me just, uh. To override, I don't think I need to use anything else here. Let's see. I'm gonna sneak up. <laughs> Oh, that's what this says. Uh, hold it undetected, then prop. Okay. We're essentially using this as transportation. Uh, I'm not sure which one I should go for. Oh, that thing in the back. I think it almost saw me. Hold on. We we'll probably need to go for this one over here, or there's one on the far right. I need to take this out first. I wonder if I do a stealth kill, will it actually, like, alert the other things? I don't mind going on foot either way. Oh, what's next? 
Yeah, my goal with this game is kind of stick to the main story a lot. I feel like I'll play this game for a long time. Playing this in Elden Ring until <laughs> probably a very long time from now. Oh, it actually moved. All right, once it goes back the other way, a little bit of mount. You just stay focused over there, sir. I appreciate that. Right here. Think we're good? Damn, they saw me. Yo, we gotta go. We gotta go. Yo, is it chasing me all the way over here? Okay, it stopped. It stopped. We're good. We're good. We got a little. Hold on. Undiscovered campfire. Let me go ahead and get that on the map. Yeah, it's right up here. Wait, is it just like right here? Interesting. Um, all right. Manual save. I'll go ahead and do that. You guys can kind of see the uh, the dates I've been playing this game. Playing it a lot earlier than most people. So, all right, here we go. Accelerate, brake, mount, or dismount. Hold it to release to then jump. Okay, light attack. Try this out. Heavy attack. It's been a while. All right. I know some of this stuff was in the first game, but I'm going for it. Time to ride. See you later. Yeah, we made it over here pretty quick because of this thing. Also felt like I missed maybe a couple no, things here and there. But it's all gravy. The sun done before the forbidden west. Another campfire. I should find whoever's in charge here. At first, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. Uh let's do a quick save. There we go, nice. I'm assuming you have to just interact with it once to unlock the, uh... Oh, let me inspect this stuff. What is this? Oh, the stash. Oh, it's cool you got a stash at each location. Hold on, what we got here? Some bow upgrades, maybe? Rope caster, uh... Oh, hold on, hold on. Wonder what would be better. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'd probably just use the same bow until we get to, like... Oh, yeah, Sharp Shot Bow. Uh, warrior Bow, Agility Damage, plus 10%. I don't want to waste too much. Hmm. So you can buy the other materials as well. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm just going to keep playing the game. I feel like once we get further and further in the store, we'll start getting the blues. And then, uh, I'm thinking it's like purple after that. I could be wrong. There's our end. Looks like he's had a few. In a sour mood. Hey, so Gabby helped out. Broken ribs will do that to you. Aaron. Light. <laughs> Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies. No, that would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. All right, nice. Hold on. Uh, I'm just gonna ask all these. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. 
the Karja offered tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanath returned personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You know what's crazy? This guy's name is the name of the lady in uh, Dying Light 2, Lawan. I was so cool that it's, that's the second game in a row I've seen that name now. But it's cool they brought back Erend, uh, who helped us in the first game. They also brought back uh, Varl, which, I mean, that was like in the very first video. I was surprised to see him in there so so early in the game, you know? You said something about Tanakh's marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Alright, looks like uh, none of these expanded anything else. Let's just go ahead and go to the last one. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Ulvan was thrilled. Man, this area is awesome. Certain characters I actually Stand forgot were in the first game was like Petra. Sir? When we talked to her, I was like, wait a minute, is that same same lady? <laughs> I can't remember. There's the commander. You better brace yourself. Let me know when and good luck. Why the Sun King believes we can have peace with these barbarians. Alright, here we go. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah, Aloy, was it? Yes, the one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be begin... Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. I guess I'll say uh, I'm going now. I mean, we have a lot of stuff that's popped up. I could spend hours doing these side things, but I really want to just kind of see more of the story right now. So, all right, here we go. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior. I don't care if it's a devil between herself. The gate is sealed until that horn blows. 
I'm asking nicely. Hey, Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's happening? I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Burl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? There's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. I'll do the icon really quick. Let's see. Mount call. Okay, calls an overridden mount to your location. Interesting. Uh, let me go ahead and change that back to whatever's available. There we go. That is the line between east and west. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here. As it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. 
But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. All right, let's, uh, let's just go. I'm going to go clockwise on this one. How did you come to be among the Tanakhs? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I'm going to say, uh, tell me. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate, and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. Mm, I'm gonna say desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate. Now, I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So. When they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the Kurut. Little did I know what I was in for. Mm, I'm just gonna keep going. I mean, we might as well get all the dialogue, right? You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hoped for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the Kul Root must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? The word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, Marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. Um, I'm not sure how long it goes. We'll so keep going, though. Are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. That there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. 
But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The cards you need to know what I have learned. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. All right, um, we have going home and then rite of passage, and we're good. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! You. The Sky Clan's banner! 